I feel more confidence about myself, I feel more better, I could do things myself, I don't have to depend on anybody, to depend on anybody in my family and I help my girls in that more, I, feel, I just feel more happier now about myself. I look forward to the future now, it's not like I've got a job in that now so I, I'm, I'm more excited about the future now, I could, I've got more things to achieve in the, the future but just now it's just me and my girls and I'm yeah, looking forward to everything now in life. The sound of Betsy, Grandad's scooter's engine starting up was like music to my ears. I couldn't wait. Sit behind me this time, Sonny said, as he drove Betsy out the garage. Where are we going, I asked. Somewhere you'll never forget, came the mysterious reply as Betsy took off, leaving a big cloud of smoke behind us. Yeah, I can't. I can't put into words uh, how positive adult learning has been for me. Julia Fraser's support and Alan Fraser's writing group has uh, really, uh, it's really turned my life around and given me hope for the future. Uh, I'm so grateful for all that it's given and I'm really happy that it's available to others too. If you can't spell and uh, communicate. I was sort of withdrawn because um, I worked in mills all my days so you think that's you, that's your destiny. So then I met up with Caroline and uh, she introduced me to adult learning. On the parents council I take part in that which I feel really confident. I go down and uh, help out at play group down in the church and help the young mums and stuff like that and try and get them into education as well. You think you're always too old for education, but you're not. It's just fantastic. What's out there is fantastic. The Job Centre advised us to go up to the centre as we've got adult learning classes. So we went in and met Alan. And Alan uh, asked us if I wanted to join his gardening group. So. I went along for a few months and that basically gives the confidence to basically go on to college and get further qualifications. Giving us confidence to actually do other things that I never actually would have thought of doing before because I do a bit of uh, volunteering work as well outside the garden with the Whitfield Complex as well. <laughs> Last year when I left Mitchell Street I went on to do a, a hire in came with people with dementia. First time I ever sat a formal exam, you know, you're sitting in a hall and boy, I thought, when you're mad putting yourself through that at this age, you know what I mean? But what a feeling, what a feeling to come top of the class in both papers. I wish the way I feel now and I felt when I did all the, the things at Mitchell Street, I could put it in a bottle, cork it and give it to teenagers that are struggling at school. They help us with everything. They're so amazing. They've done everything I achieved in my life. The staff's done it for me, helped me through it all. Yeah, I love them all. 